Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video. Well, I'm getting ready to go to a wedding. I'm in a dress which is black and a bit of pink in it, if you can see. So I'm getting ready for a wedding. This is the first wedding I'm attending post-corona. So I am so excited. This is so much fun. So I'm going to create a look and you're going to join me. So let's start with the eyes. I think I'll start with the eyes first because maybe I'll create something dramatic. I'm just looking for my eyeshadow primer. Where are you? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, it is here. Okay. I'm using my, well, all my makeup is in this container so this is the reason why you heard all those noises so this is my pro primer by la girl the high definition eyeshadow primer i have 20 minutes before i need to leave the house so i can make it on time so i'm just priming my eyelids just like that and i'm going to use Kaleido kaleidos Club Nebula palette by my favorite YouTuber Angelica Nyquist. Okay, this is how it looks like when you open it. This is so beautiful. This is amazing. Okay, I'll show it like this. Okay, I'm going to create something with these three or this line here let's see what we can create so i'm just taking a clean brush i'm using my color pop this is the e2 just a small simple brush and i'm going to take samus which is this um peachy color here well i didn't have a chance to do my nail it's so frustrating but it was either the nails or the hair. So I picked the hair because, you know, can't go to a wedding with a disgusting hair, right? And so I did my hair and no time for nails. So I'd rather go without nails than go without a tidy hair. Okay, so I just added it above my crease. A very pigmented palette. Okay, let's take a flat brush. Do I have a clean flat brush? No, so I'll take this color pop. This is the E4. And I'm going to take Red Giant, which is this red burgundy color here. Let's see, I never tried this brush before so first time i'm using it seems okay so i'm just going to add it to the inner corner outer corner sorry i don't know this is uh, i bought this these brushes this is the lemon cello collection by ColourPop, and i have to say that i am not a fan of these brushes they're too soft i don't know what's too soft or I don't know how to even describe it but the, yeah they're not firm enough for my liking I usually use the big one that came with the set for the powder and the eyes the eye uh, brushes I rarely use now I'm using them because all my others other brushes are not clean and have other pigments that will ruin the look if I'll use them so I'm just adding it to the outer corner and babbling and well my son is here he's reading a book say hi hi he's reading a book and I'm doing my makeup okay now I'm going to take nebula which is this dark, shimmery, peachy, pinky color, this guy here. Well, first time I'm using these, so... Let's 
yeah looks nice very pigmented so I'm just setting it with my finger I'm tapping it and there's a big mirror in this palette which is very useful so I'm just tapping it to the middle yeah that's very nice Just adding a tiny bit more to make it pop a bit more yeah I think it turned out beautifully and now look at this beautiful color okay now I'm going to take a tiny tiny brush let's take this one again from Colourpop this is E21 I'm going to use Nova which is this shade here to my inner corner let's see oh this is nice okay let's continue the eye the face and we'll go back to the eyes later so i'm just taking both of my revlon candids foundation i have one in 230 and one in 220 and I'm just about to finish them so I'm just mixing them up on the back of my hand one pump of each and look one is a bit oh I don't know if you can see but this one the two 230 is more peachy and the 220 is more beigey so I'm just mixing them together and applying it with my finger and I just took two pumps and if I do the same with the sponge the sponge absorbs well a lot and I won't have high coverage when I'm using the sponge I'm going to use it don't worry it's damp but I have more coverage when I am rubbing it with my fingers like that and I have so much material on my hands as I said I'm going to a wedding so it is an evening makeup I need more coverage for evening makeup so I'm going to take my sponge and tiny bit just tap it and it's not so dumb I forgot it's from this morning and I forgot to wet it again okay never mind let's take my concealer and I have here the L'Oreal inflammable more than concealer in the shade 330 and I am just adding it to the inner corner of each eye not more I'm not adding more because this is very very pigmented so I'm just taking a brush and covering my under eye area and it is enough material for the entire under eye area a very thick consistency to this concealer Okay, now let's take the powder and I'm using this guy. This is by Focalure. This is the Flawless Setting Powder. And I have, oh my god, less than 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm just taking my Colourpop. This is the E1, F1, sorry. And tapping it all over my face. Now I already have the eyes, so... I'm going to speed things up I'll try at least let's do eyebrows and I'm using my elf duo this is in light and I'm just looking for my small brush for the brows so I'm just starting with the light it's two shades the light and the dark so I'm just taking the light one to the inner corner of each brow 
and the dark one to the outer corner. Okay, this is a bit difficult. I don't want to be too bold. Yep, they're good. And of course, I'm going to add my essence. This is lash and brow. This is a clear mascara. I well, I've been wanting to buy them at Lady Makeup, but I didn't know what else to order. So when I was in my local farm, I was looking for this guy, and they didn't have anything. So well, the first time I saw they have, I think they had six in stock, and I grabbed four. So now I have it. Okay, I'm losing light because it is almost evening, and I'm using my Norris Laguna for the bronzer so I'm taking my bronzer brush and just warming up my face so I won't be too white and just around my face in the perimeter of my face like that and I'm going to take where's my blush Blushush. Oh, I can't find my blush. Yep, here it is. My Colourpop Chic Duo. This is in the shade. Where is the shade name? Psst. This is nice. Okay, psst. Okay, so I'm just taking with my finger a tiny bit and adding it to the cheeks, the apples of the cheeks. And to my cheekbone here again so I'm taking just a tiny bit this is too much even so I'm just going to add a tiny bit to this side and I'm just tapping it with my finger until I feel that it's enough And I'm going over it with my sponge. Okay, now I have to highlight. And I'm using my Focal Lure Glow, Scalp Glow in the shade 03. I'm just taking my brush and adding, well, I'm taking just from the highlighter, this is a duo, a highlight and a scalp. I don't use the scalp color, so I'm just adding Highlighter okay, and tip of my nose and I want to add okay sorry about that I want to add some color to the lower lash line so I'm going back to my nebula club nebula palette and I'm taking a small brush and I'm just taking the red giant which is the dark red and adding it to the outer corner of the lower lash line but only until midway it's kind of mimicking what i did on the lid you can see midway and now i'm going to take this nebula so i used this guy here and now I'm going to use this guy here and I hope it's pigmented enough because sometimes if it's wet it's not doing a good job okay so far so good other side as well so we have lipstick to do and lashes okay I'm going to go back to this uh, Nova which is the white shade and add a tiny bit more to the inner corner yeah okay like that 
But now let's take mascara. I have here my Maybelline. This is the big shot. And let's add mascara. So I'm taking my small mirror and I'm just adding a coat of mascara. I need to leave the house in five minutes, so I need to hurry. So I'm just adding a coat of mascara on each side. Okay. Yeah, now I made a mess. Because... Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. Yeah, you see here? My under eye. Yeah, gone. That was tiny bit. <laughs> okay. Let's take some lipstick. And I'm using two. I'm using this Maybelline. This is the ink crayon. Yeah, this is my son here. And he's so cute. And I'm going to add it. It's not good to hurry, right? And as I said, this is the first wedding I'm attending since the corona. If I remember, we'll take pictures and add them here. Okay, on top of it, I'm going to use my color pop. This is the lip oil in the shade Bengal. I think I'll take this with me so I can correct. everything as I go along so I'll put this aside yeah this is it this is the final look what do you think about the eye look I think it turned out beautifully and I love the makeup this is so nice and well sorry about the lighting I lost light during shooting this but Makes sense. It's getting dark outside. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is it. This is the final look. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this look. Do you like it? I love this Club and Nebula palette. Kaleidos and Angie did a good job. Okay, this is it. I have to... Well, I have two minutes. I have to get out of the house. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.